Hello everybody, ReaperX1 here again, back working on my big mobile refining snake base that I'm now calling Cobrality, because this thing will kill anything. And I'm back in the R&D, of course, and this is version 0.7.3.1, I believe. I think it, they got a new unstable out, I, I did this and that one. Not too much has changed yet, so nothing really new to report, except for this crap happened. But that is with nine segments, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight. Okay, we had eight segments on there. So I made a few more uh, little adjustments. Added some extra weight, too. So, yeah, it still wants to lean back pretty hard. But we'll get that figured out. But before we do, you know, I'd like to say thank you for joining me. I'm glad you found your way to my little channel here. I hope you enjoy what you're about to see. And, you know, I think think this is going to be a good one because I I've had a lot of fun with this one even though it's laggy it's not on my end I sped her up for you so you don't have to sit through the the stuttering lagginess that I've went through but this is the kind of stuff this thing can do it saves itself and continues on you know so when it's all finished hopefully it can do that while it's towing so it can nicely land with all its uh, body segments in unintact but as always, if you do like what, you, what you're seeing, what you're hearing, or just in general you like the ideas, you know, throw a blue thumb under this. My little child, channel is fueled on them. And this is what happens when you un use the undo button with a couple skews in the way. Cut my face right in half, I tell you. It's only like a three quarters of the snake it used to be. But yeah, my little ch channel is fueled on likes, subscriptions, comments, and all the fun we can have. And I tell you, I do appreciate all the fun you guys have helped me had because you guys are awesome. You have made this way better than I thought it could be. So I do thank you, and I'll thank you again, and I'll thank you over and over again. As the more you watch the videos, the more you'll hear it. <laughs> but like I was saying, if you don't haven't subscribed yet and you do like what you're seeing, hit that button. Make sure you ding the bell, then you get notified. I had to restart the R&D, so I figured, yeah, let's try this guy again. Now, if you notice, this little guy, he'll cruise around at 212 mile an hour. And he's very controllable. I almost stuck the land. I'll give that a two for the landing. Horrible. Horrible. But now we're back to this guy again. Got him loaded right back up. As you can see, I got a little more of the hood done on him. Got some venture wings in there for some decorative... Uh, flare or touches so he's still not quite flying just right so I had a couple other things I added to him as far as lift goes and yeah I always like to see the guns go off it's just a cool part I think but you know another thing I forgot to mention was a Saturday showcase you know if you have a cool and original tech and it does not have to be a big old monster thing like this send me a in-game snapshot or uh uh, game save down through my uh, Saturday Showcase Auditions link if you're interested. And I'll make the best dang video out of it I can. And I'll let you know when it's done so hopefully we can all share some ideas and have a ton of fun in the process. I know I have fun making the videos. I figure you guys have fun building the techs. I figure if we put them both together we'll both have fun at the same time. So yeah, a lot of this, this video is a lot of little bits of changes that you might not really be able to notice. Because it is of such a scale, and it's kind of all a lot of black. <laughs> but a lot of testing, like any flyer, even small ones, you got to do this kind of stuff. But the bigger they are, the more of the testing you got to do. But if you notice here, that's actually handling pretty good. Like, I was playing through a lot of lag, and I could even tell it was pretty quick to respond to that, to the steering command. So I'm liking that. But the way that nose is tipped up like that, I don't think I'm going to be able to rely on the hover glitch when I want there. So I gotta gotta add more lift. Gotta balance her out a bit better. So I added a couple more wings, and I th I got a few more uh, fan propellers in underneath. And I thought, you know, it's time to maybe see what this thing can do. So I got her up to about 4,500 feet, and. I thought I'd try a front roll because it seems to be easier to get it to roll that way. And as you can see, I'm losing too many feet too fast and it's, no, it's not going to work. I thought it was worth a try. 
But if it can't do it like this, there's no freaking way it's going to do towing anything. <laughs> so this is not going to be as cool as I hoped. Unless you get up to like 30,000 feet, then it might pull it off. That is something I may try at some point. But I gotta, I'm thinking I might have to redesign the body a bit. The segments. Because honestly, you don't need the AI to get them into the air. This thing will pull them and get them in the air. But they're heavy, so when I get too many of them, it, let, it uh, pulls me back down. Noses me up and forces me back to the ground. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is redesign the bodies. Take all the propellers out. Add a ton more wings. Maybe some more gyros to keep them steady. And I'm not going to worry about the actual acrobatic aspect of it. It would have been nice. It would have been awesome to do. But I think this thing would have to do about 100 mile an hour while towing to be able to do anything reasonable without like 40,000 feet worth of fall <laughs> that it can use. But as you can see, I got a little bit better balance there. Got a few more fans underneath. I think I'm going to end up losing the curve underneath on the hood but that's kind of a minor detail I'd rather it fly than look like that because with it all being black it can all kind of blend in it can still keep the same visual from a distance it's just when you get right up close you'll see it and as you notice I put a couple more mobile skews under there so I thought that'd be a good idea it sits a little better now. It doesn't always want to nose up as quick, but it does still need a little more fine tuning. But that's the game you get into with flying techs, and the bigger they get, the more of the game you play is juggling parts, trying different parts. Because at one point I was going to try and put some of the large rotors underneath there because they do have quite a lot of lift, but decided against it. Broom restrictions. So here we go again. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine again, I think. Maybe ten. I think I might have miscounted. Yeah, I think I got ten. One, two, three, eight. Hey, stop moving. I'm not cooperating with myself. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And yeah, I got nine. Alright. Nine's not bad. But this is what this is intended for. So you'd be able to take this thing, which is a mobile refining do-all base and battle tech, and then you could circle it up like this at a new spot where you would like to build a base, and you could build within its ring. And well, you would have to maybe plan ahead because when you go to drive away, you don't you can't have it do that. And you don't want to get all snagged up on stuff. So but that's kind of the thought that went into this when I first started it. Is I thought that would be cool. I think I'd like to be able to haul around 12 body segments, but, and a tail. So I haven't made a tail yet either. So I got a little more farting around to do. This is me just playing around, really. I kind of gave up on it. It nosed up too quick. I knew it wasn't going to work, so I thought, oh, let's see if I can get to look like a sneaky. It did for a second. One thing I wish I could have done. Oh, there goes the cab. <laughs> oh, two pieces. One thing I really would have liked to do is have the head itself move separately from the hooded part. Because then that would have been more like a real snake. But maybe that's a different build. Maybe one that's smaller. But once again, we got another little bit of a test going here. Seems to be running fairly nice. Sits level-ish. Seems to be a lot more controllable. Oh, now the hover glitch is kicking in. I was wondering why it was steering up and down. It shouldn't do that with the hover glitch. But side to side's working nice. So I'm not too sure why it did it, but hey. It seems like if you're in there and you try and switch from the hover glitch to unhover glitched, it doesn't really kick in. So maybe that had something to do with it. I was on the ground when I activated that little glitch, though, so I'm not sure why it would be a problem, but not much of a problem. So here we are, going to do the last big test of this one today. This is kind of a shorter video, but it was a lot of time in the making. Just to get this far progress on the tech took me hours, and then the 
speeding the video up took hours. Because I guarantee you do not want to watch the leg, leg fest I went through. <laughs> so right about here is where I'm going to ask you once again to remember that I do appreciate everything you guys have thrown my way in the form of all those awesome likes. Those blue thumbs are amazing to see. The comments, they've been some of the most helpful things I've read in a long, long time. And all the subscriptions and everything have been just amazing. You guys have showed your support. I do appreciate it. I do thank you. And I hope it never stops. And I just hope we can all keep on having fun. And don't forget about the Saturday Showcase. Those cool and original texts you guys are always making. If you'd like a video for them, just post them through my Saturday Showcase Auditions thread. I'll take her from there, and then when it's all done, I'll let you know on the TerraTech forums, and then you can check it out. Hopefully, we'll have a ton of fun, and maybe we'll inspire each other for ideas. Because watching other people's builds and what they've come up with is kind of what inspired this. And then I got challenged to make the flying mobile base, so that, that helped. So three different people helped inspire this idea, and then I put my spin on it, and it was a big spin. Kind of big. A little big? Fair size, we'll say. So see if we can get this up in the air. See, it does that really nice. <laughs> so yeah, let's try something here. I'm gonna knock two of these off. So I think I had 12. So we'll knock her back to 10. We'll see if that does us any better. I hope so. So yeah, if you'd like to see any more, uh, how would I put it, more involved videos about these kind of monster builds, like even a brick by brick tear down or rebuild kind of idea, because I found those are pretty, look, it's all in the air too. It is. Ten of them. That's not bad, but look, she is nosing up though, so I need more lift. Or more speed or lighter tail segments. But that's all maybe for the next one. So until next time everybody. Keep being awesome. Keep having a good one. Oh I'm going down. Oh. Cobrality. He died. <laughs> Bye.